just in terms of giving people an idea of the application of songwriting, how long, you know, you, you, it comes off effortlessly when you sing it now, how many months did you actually spend on that song? What was it, a day or a month or a year? Um, it was, uh, the, the music uh, was very quick. The music was sort of written in a, an hour. Um, it just, it's a lot, I mean, I, music's a lot easier for me. Um, I pretty much, whenever I pick up a guitar or, or sit at a piano or whatever, I usually get some sort of little idea that develops pretty quickly. And then lyrics are a nightmare. <laughs> that take me forever. Sometimes I get lucky and, and you know, a, a lyric just falls out, but that's extremely rare and most of the time. I spend months and months and I spent months on that. Um, just, and it's I, I, only to get it to a point where I'm happy with it. Uh, it's, it's not that I'm spending months uh, trying to sort of write the, you know, classic Australian song or something. It's just uh, it just takes me ages to be happy enough with it myself that I want to sing it. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I have a, a tough editor in my head. <laughs> How does that filter develop? Is there, you know, do you, does it, and does it get tougher over time? You know, in terms of asking more of yourself and you know and wondering if you've got it for the next day or the next week or the next year. For me, it, it, yeah, it gets harder. Um, I guess just because, you know, I've kind of written like 130 or 140 songs now. And um, mm -hmm. so in order to feel like you're actually progressing and getting better and not just writing songs because you can, uh, to feel like I'm getting better, I, I feel that I, I need to articulate things more clearly. I need to hit the nail on the head in with you know I, I don't know it, it's just it's for me it's it's the way words can be so incredibly exciting you know just just a half a dozen words half a dozen of the right words arranged a certain way just can be the most exciting thing to me and when you feel like you get something like that right and you come up with one single line that just manages to you know possess some sort of insight into some aspect of your life or, or some aspect of your reality. Um, it's just such a fantastic feeling and it's so rewarding and, and I kind of walk around buzzing for weeks when I feel like I've hit something on the head. And it may make absolutely no sense to anybody else and I don't need it to. It just feels, it, it's just the reward I get out of it. Do you have to sort of push yourself to go, well, no, I can do more, I can actually try things and you know, I want to do, I don't want to just match the norm, I want, I want to go past it. I don't really feel aware of, of what, of, of a uh, supposed norm. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really, um, the thing I do when I'm writing is I try as hard as possible to isolate myself from what, from everything else, from what other people are doing or what other people might think or, you know, I, I just don't want any of that creeping into what I'm, trying to do I'm, I'm sort of trying to uh, trying to express something so personal that I you know have to keep it really separate um, you know from any idea of how it's going to be received or what people are going to think of it or whether it's going to be successful or not I don't worry about that all after mm -hmm.